In activity four, wind direction, students discuss how to determine where the wind is blowing from. They first construct wind vanes to determine wind direction and then add the data to the class weather data chart. Finally, students discuss how wind direction can help predict the weather. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity sheet four, beads, wind vane cards, corrugated cardboard, dowels, drinking straws, tea pins, weather data chart from activity three, modeling clay, compass, paper clips, and transparent tape. You will also need to provide felt tip markers, scissors, electric fan, and a dual scale ruler. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of activity sheet four for each team of two students. Select an outdoor location away from buildings, trees, and other large objects that may affect the wind where students will be able to test their wind vanes. Also, select a place in the classroom where the students' wind vanes can be stored when not in use. Then, divide the clay into 16 equal-sized lumps. Using scissors, make a 5 centimeter slit at one end of each straw and a 2.5 centimeter slit at the other end. Use the stripes on the straw as a guide to align the slits with each other. Each team of two will need a lump of clay, a straw, a pair of scissors, a bead, a wind vane card, a piece of corrugated cardboard, a dowel, a tea pin, a felt tip marker, and access to the tape. To begin the activity, ask students, how do we know when the wind is blowing? Students might suggest that the wind blows and, and moves leaves, trees, sailboats, wind socks, kites, long hair, or hats. Ask, how do we know in which direction the wind is blowing? Guide students to understand that the objects blown by the wind are moved in the same direction that the wind is blowing. Further explain that scientists name the direction of a wind by the direction from which it comes. That is, a north wind comes from the north, traveling southward. Then ask students, does anyone know what a wind vane is and what it's used for? Students may know that a wind vane turns in the wind. Inform the class that a wind vane tells us from which direction the wind is coming. When the wind comes, it brings new weather with it, and knowing which direction the wind is coming from can help us predict what weather the wind will bring. Next, divide the class into teams of two and distribute the materials. Instruct the teams to mark the four compass points on one side of their piece of corrugated cardboard and have them write their names on the same side. Distribute activity sheet four and review each step, making sure that each team understands what the tasks are. Then, cut out the two shapes on the wind vane card. Notice the slits cut in each end of the straw. Fit the tail into the longer slit and fit the head into the shorter slit and fasten each piece to the straw with tape. Next, hold the straw so that the head and tail stand vertically. Push the T-pin through the straw about one centimeter from the tail. Feed the pin through the bead and then push it into the end of the dowel. Check that the vane rotates freely. Then, use the scissors to poke a shallow hole in the center of the cardboard. Make sure not to poke all the way through. Attach the wind vane by inserting the dowel into the hole and press the clay tightly against the cardboard around the bottom of the dowel. If necessary, attach one or more paper clips to the head of the vane so that the head and tail balance. The corrugated cardboard square will serve as a stand for the vane. Point out to the class that the side with the compass point should face up. If weather permits, take the students outdoors with their wind vanes. If the weather is poor or if there is no detectable wind, use the electric fan to simulate windy conditions. Orient the compass by laying it on a horizontal surface and slowly turning it until the colored end of the needle aligns with the N on the face. Instruct students to align their wind vanes as the compass indicates. Guide students to understand that the arrow points in the direction from which the wind is coming. For instance, if the head is pointing east, the wind is from the east. Then, have each team try to determine the wind direction using its wind vane. Ask students, if you knew what the weather conditions in that direction were, what could you predict about the weather? Students should predict that in the next few days, the weather here would be like the weather is there today. Finally, collect the compass and have the students bring their wind vanes back to the classroom. Guide a class discussion to come to a consensus on the direction of the wind and invite one student to record the wind direction on the class weather data chart. To conclude the activity, store the wind vanes in a prearranged place. 
return the compass, tape, and paper clips to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM teacher's guide.